Hello and welcome to my video on the use of a text area input control on a HTML form. So here again, uh, if you've seen other videos, you, you know that I'm starting off with a fairly basic HTML file. So HTML file uh, has a header section, a body section, the body section has a data entry form in it, currently has three text inputs, uh, two that are plain text, one is uh, formatted for email, Really the way it looks uh, currently, this is the way it gets rendered in a web browser. I come here, I've got a, uh, a little example uh, I store in a different file uh, of a text area. This is my text area element. I'm just going to copy it out of there. I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to tab it over, add a little white space to make it a little bit clearer. So here's my text area. Uh, the name is going to be comments. Here again, uh, we're using a placeholder attribute uh, that basically will be uh, text that appears in it but is not actually part of the value of the text area. Basically saying if you have any comments, please enter them here. I'm going to put a little label abo uh, above that. Normally without a break, this label would show up next to this input, but here I want it to appear above, so I'm going to add a break. This is going to, instead of being email, this is going to be comment. So here I've got comment. Uh, the label is going to appear about my text area. Text areas uh, allow users to enter uh, multiple lines of data, and you can control uh, how big this text area is with other uh, attributes of the tag of the element. So here I'm going to save all of this. I'm going to go to my web browser. I'm going to refresh my web browser. And here I've got my comment, and that doesn't appear correct. So let me see if I can't go back and fix that. So here's my comment. Here's my label. Um, my text area. What did I do wrong? Did something wrong? Oh, I don't have an end tag to my text area. So I have to end my text area. And I simply close it as I would with any of the other elements that I use. And there's the end of my text area. So if I save that, you'll see I got a message here. The end tag. Oh, that appears to be fine. I don't know why I'm getting that message there, but I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to say save, and I'm going to go to my web browser, and I'm going to refresh it, and it still doesn't like that. To do a little bit of troubleshooting as far as ah, <laughs> there's a B in there. There's my text area, a little spelling error. Okay, so let me go back to my web browser, let me refresh this page, and there we go. And that is what it's supposed to look like. And again, my submit is not where I want that. So at the end of my text area, I'm gonna add a break, maybe I'll even add a second break, give a little room for my submit button. I'm going to save that, I'm going to go back to my HTML page in my web browser. Now that, I, um, now that I fixed that, my comment is good, and now I can say this is a comment. And this would be the value uh, as the other um, attribute is simply a placeholder. And there you go, and that's how you add uh, a text area control and a label uh, to your data to your HTML data entry form.